Retail business is complex because it deals with people, it deals with a huge number of items, and the retail in which we are, that is the grocery retail, deals with something else that is hygiene, that is perishability, that is uh, security of the food that we are eating, and so on and so on. But the most important thing is that the retail is following the consumer behavior, and consumer behavior is each and every one of us. Now, the problem from a retailer, it's exactly like for us, is the combination between automation and digitalization. In automation, the retailer is trying to eliminate as many processes that are not adding value or can be eliminated from the retail process. From a digitalization point of view, the retailer will have to interact with us as consumers. So VSP is uh, a new member of the family that is going to address and is addressing exactly the same values as we want to address with the rest of the retail portfolio. So what is a VSP? Because slicing and everything that was related to food processing was something that was one of the main competences of Biserba. So there are some limits of how good can you do and you can develop the mechanic, the electronic, the, uh, everything that is connected to the hygiene and so on of those devices. Even if we get better every time, also because the expectations are higher, one of the main points for the VSP is to make it really an integrated member of this family. This means the VSP as a machine has to be able to interact with the other members of this retail community in order to give us the possibility to improve operations, to make sure that the right data is at the right point, and to ensure something that is extremely important, that is permanent availability of the systems, to make sure that the systems are there when you need them. The biggest highlight for me is what I, what I meant also before to make quality invisible. But the biggest highlight, we made those kind of devices. We moved them from products to parts of a solution. We made them talk. And if you imagine, if, if you imagine that the, the human being started developing when people started talking to each other. You have perfect animals in the animal world, but they cannot produce value and they cannot evolve if they don't talk to each other. This makes us human different. It's exactly what we want also for our machines. We want first to learn the alphabet. We want them to talk to each other. The next step will be that we will give them some artificial intelligence. Then they will get into the machine learning. I'm sure they will never be more intelligent than we are, that we create them and so on. But I want them to be intelligent. I want them to talk and I want them to tell us what we need to do in order to improve the business that we are doing. This is the biggest highlight.